Hi everyone. Today let's discuss about sign module in Odoo 40. The sign module helps to improve the speed of office activities by enabling the signing of documents through the online platform. So this makes the approval and signing process so simple. So we can consider a sign as a quick method to send, sign and approve documents. So this will help user to complete the preparation of a document in a, a simple way by just draw, uh, dragging and dropping blocks or fields like initials, signatures, dates, these things can be added to document. So this will help user to manage signature requests and track the status of uh, already sent documents. So uh, can see the sign module, but we have to install it from App Store. So when you uh, search for sign, you can see it is already installed. And uh, when you open sign, you can see uh, the overview. That is, we can see all the uploaded templates. So Order 14 extends support for uploading PDF of sign and ensures a quick completion of the drag and drop of the images to fields. So auto sign makes it makes a signature and approval a speedy process. So here you can see uh, these templates are filtered by my favorites. And when you close this, you can see all the uh, templates and you can mark them as favorite and you can see the date and tags given for that template. And it is possible to uh, filter these uh, templates by the tags. So you can see when you filter can see according to that then it is possible to send uh, this template uh, so we can send when you click on this we can see the employee name we can set copy email id and subject message and you can see the file name and you can send this then we can sign it this document now but by, by just clicking on sign now and send the request then you can share this document uh, this template also you can see the uh, link to share and we can sign now then it is also possible to see num a number of documents in progress for this template and number of documents that are signed. So currently you can see for this template zero and for this template we can see one document is signed. And we can also make conversation with user. Then here. You can also see some field types. So we can add drag fields to your document. So for that, before that we can set signature item type. So here you can see some um, items like date, selection, text, signature, and you can also create new signature item type. So we can see, set the field name, then we can with add which type of field is this, whether it is signature or text or checkbox. Then we can add automatic partner field. That is partner field to use automate auto complete the fields of this type and you can set that uh, default width height tip and placeholder for this signature type then we can configure roles so it is important to configure roles before requesting signature on your documents uh, so you can see some roles like customer company employee and you can create new role by just clicking create and you can add the name and we can set SMS authentication. And then we can also configure signature request items. So you can see there are two items that is to sign then complete it. So you can set a role, email, contact and some other details for, the, for the signature request items. Then coming back to our dashboard. So you can see uh, for this document uh, that is for this template, it is possible to set some properties for your template so here you can set tags then sign document workspace sign document tags then we can set a redirect a redirect link so after come after signing the document or template documents in template you can uh, redirect to a different um, link then you can set who can sign it can be done by all users or on invitation so invited users then we can set invited users for this template and you can see one is set, then uh, you can see template access group. So particular group, we can restrict the access of this template. 
and we can send see the document uh, for this template. So you can see being acquired and you can set the fields. So here you can see uh, four fields are set required, name, initials, name, signature, and you can set the responsible person, then the document page, in which page, and you can set position, width, height for this of these fields. You can add uh, more fields also. And then you can see sign documents count and you can edit fields. So when you uh, enter this, you can edit the fields. So let us come back to our dashboard. And uh, can also it is also possible to uh, modify your template. You can add more um, fields to your template. And here you can also sign documents, then archive a template, then delete, and you can also change the color here. Then you can upload a new, new document uh, to sign or you can upload a PDF template from here. So I'm going to upload a PDF file to sign. So just click on this. And open the PDF document. And here you can see that document. You can ha you have a preview of the document. So I'm going to add some fields to this. Like I can add some initials. Then I can set the response person for this initial. That is responsible role. And I can add uh, on all pages or add it once. So I'm clicking add once. So it is added to this page and you can see it is saved. And same way I can add name. And if I click on this, you can see a window asking for, uh, we can fill the placeholder and we can set field by employee. And you can see it is a mandatory field as we have set. It is mandatory. Then you can validate this. Then the same way we can drag signature. And here, when you click on the signature, you can see it need to be filled by employee. So we can change it to customer and then validate this. So after adding the fields, you can uh, send, sign now or share this document. So here, when I click send now, So here we can set the employee that need to sign this document and here we can add the customer name. Then we can set write email or search corner. So if we click sign now, you can see a page. Uh, so here we can, uh, we have a preview of the template and here when you click on initial you can see the full name of the employee and here we can provide initials so we can add draw the signature or we can uh, generate it by auto and we can also load document from here so you can see no file selected so here i'm going to draw and then adopt and sign so you can see it is added in the same way if you click signature also that is if you click next you can see initial admin is added automatically then here you can see below uh, that button to validate and the next sign entry is deco edit so uh, so you can see uh, it is showing that your signature has been saved and next signatory is decoded. So we'll send you this document by email once everyone has signed. So we can select ne next signatory that is decoded and you can see the fields here for signature. So in the previous page, we, um, we were not able to use this, click on this. So when you click on this, you can see um, for our customer, uh, our customer can sign add signature so signature is added 
and then validate and send complete document. So everything is done and we can send the completed document. So here you can see uh, uh, Michelle admin signed and, and the date you can see there. So you can see, thank you, your signature has been saved. You will receive a copy of the signed document by mail. And if you click view document, you can see the signed document. And it is possible to download the document and we can add certificate. Uh, we can download as certificate. So when you open this, you can see the certificate of completion. Then here you can see all the documents. So you can see one document signed by Michel Admin, the credit. And here you can see the date and So when you select documents, you can see all the uploaded documents and we can see this uh, document was signed by Michelle admin employee and you can see this also signed, signed by customer deco edit and you can see the date and here we can also upload a PDF again uh, in order to sign add signature. So that's all about uh, sign module in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.